Hello! A very big welcome to you all this week. What joy it is to have you tune in with me. My name is Bex and I'm part of the Gateway Kids team. Now, I wonder, can anyone tell me what day it is today? It happens every year. It's something we celebrate and it happens on the third Sunday in June. <gasps> yeah, you're right, it's Father's Day. So happy Father's Day to all you dads out there or dad role models. You are all wonderful. Keep up being a good dad. We love our dads, don't we? And as a friend of Jesus, I think it's even cooler. But we don't just celebrate our earthly dads or dad role models, but we also get to celebrate our heavenly father. That is God. What an exciting day. Now this week we have a special treat. We have a dad coming in to talk to us. I know, very exciting. A dad coming to talk to us about what happened with his two sons. Oh, boys and girls, thank you so much for having me on this show today. Honestly, the most amazing thing happened to me the other day. Oh, I, it, honestly, it's the most amazing thing. I, I'm Okay, I'm just going to tell you. I'm going to tell you all about it, okay? So, the other day, right? I mean, well, it was quite a while ago now, actually. It wasn't the other day. It's quite a while ago now. Uh, my, my youngest boy, he came to me and he said, Dad... There's a whole big world out there. I don't want to go and explore it. I want to I want to do things for myself. But what I need you to do is give me a share of the property so that I can do this. This was a weird thing to ask from your dad. I mean, normally this would be something that you would get when your parents pass away. But look at me, I'm alive and well. But I decided that I would, I would, I would give my son the share of the property. So I, I divided it into two, one for, for each of my boys. And as soon as, as soon as my youngest got the money, he, he, he grabbed all his things and he was, he was gone. He was out the door. It was, it was heartbreaking. I was so sad that my my boy he he was gone. I I just I just couldn't understand why 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 would he not want to be with me? I lo I love my son. I I love I love being close to him for days on end. I I waited on my doorstep. I I, I looked through every window in the house. Just longing, longing for my son to come home. Now, my eldest, he, he didn't understand. Like, what? Dad, why why are you wasting your time? Why why why'd you just spend your days waiting? I just I just missed him so much. And I love him. So I just I kept praying to God. I was like, God. get my son to come home so I was on I was on my doorstep one day and way out in the distance I saw this figure and I knew I knew I knew it was my son thank you God thank you God for bringing my son home to me I was I I ran I ran to him I hugged him I kissed him I fell, I fell to his feet. I sobbed. And he was, he was trying to apologise. He was trying to say things to me, but it just didn't matter. I just, I was so happy that my boy, my boy, he was home. I was filled with so much love for my son. The thing is, as a dad, no matter what my sons do, no, no matter 
how bad, no matter how much it displeases me, I will always, always love them. So, <laughs> servants, come on, let's, we, we need to celebrate, my boy is home. Get him a ring, put the ring on his finger, get the robe and, and put it on his back and sandals, put the sandals on his feet. We are gonna have the most amazing, incredible, extravagant, just, we are gonna have the perfect feast. We are gonna celebrate. You know what? We're gonna, we're gonna kill the fattened calf. We are gonna, we're gonna celebrate tonight. So as, as the night went on, we, we celebrated, we celebrated and I just I just noticed that there was there was something missing. And it, it was my it was my oldest boy. I so I, I I went to find him and he just he was so confused and and annoyed and angry. He he said to me, Dad, I've I've been with you since day one. I've I've been I've been a slave to you. I've never left your side. And and yet, you you never even killed a small goat for me and my friends. I just I don't understand. But but my brother, he left. He he blew all his money on sinful things and rubbish. And and when he comes home, you you we throw a party for him. You kill a fattened calf just for him. I was, I was so upset. My boy, he he didn't understand what was, what was in front of him. So so I said to him, son, you are always with me. Everything that I own is yours, but my, my son, your brother. He was dead, and now now he's alive. He was lost and now he is found. Amazing! What a story! If you want to read that in your Bibles, you can find it in the book of Luke. Luke is a book in the New Testament. You need to look out for chapter 15, so the big 15, and then verse 11, so the little 11. Now, in the Bible, Jesus actually told the story about the man with the two sons. And he'd done this to show us that the love of the Father is more incredible than we could ever imagine or fully understand. No matter what we've done or how far away we go, wherever we are, God still loves us. God still waits for us and calls us home. Father God's love will never give up on us. It will always be waiting for us. Father God is waiting at the door for more of his children, more of his sons and daughters to come home. He wants those who are lost to be found. He wants those who don't know about him to come and meet him. God's amazing. He takes us as we are. He cleans us up and he restores us into his family as sons and daughters. And every time a lost son or daughter comes home, God's like, yeah, come on, that's my child, my child's home. And God throws the most incredible celebration for his lost sons and daughters. He is so pleased because he loves them so much. God wants to show us, his precious children, how important we are to him. The thing about Father God's love, it's not something that we should keep secret and not tell people. We need to tell the world. We need to tell and show people the Father's love and generosity. Now, as it's Father's Day today, it would be great to show our dads, whether that be our biological dads, so the dads that have given us life, or the father figures that we've got in our lives, 
So maybe that's Pastor Marty or someone else in the church who's like an uncle or a granddad to you. These men are just as important. So why don't you spend some time now thinking how you can show Father God's love and his generosity to your dads? So this could be getting an older sibling or another adult in your household to help you make dad's favourite hot drink, whether that's a tea or coffee, or it could just be a squash, whatever they fancy. It could also be spending time making your dad a card and writing in there the things that you love about your dad. You know, you could even cover it in glitter or you could make it a funky shape like a tie or a briefcase or his favourite garden tool, depending on what your dad really likes. You could also, if you've got some ingredients and some older people to help you, make your dad a cake or make him some of his favourite food. Why don't you go out of your way today and this week to show people the Father's love and the Father's generosity? I hope you've enjoyed this week. Please give us some feedback by texting the church WhatsApp number, which can be found below the video. It would be great to hear any testimony or anything people are really enjoying. Please tune in next week. I'll be back to tell you another story from the Bible. Have a great week. Enjoy the sunshine. Stay safe and I'll see you soon. Bye.